Hey guys, it's that same place back then. We last had fuck doesn't know what happened. We went on, we did some messages stuff. Take a look at this. Some of the fun stuff now too. And we got quack. That does happen sometimes. Scout ship. We get quack. And we learned some more low stuff up. You know what's another stuff too. I won't very good to like, comment, subscribe, but this. Talking. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This What's dog wrong? came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avaros. This is a side quest sure. later on. Part of it looks like a chronology. So maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avaros, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. Yeah, we saw some smaller quests. I'll probably do this quest later on in the game after my other part. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? I know, baby. Okay. My book! Yeah. Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh, I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. Yeah. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's wow. fascinating. I know. Look at those two, all worked up over an old book. My that's little brother nice was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. We received that's reports bad. of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. Quickly, hide in my house. Yeah, but... Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Yay. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough Thank living you. alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his yeah. sake, at least, all right? Uh huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your Whoa. friend too. Really? Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the wow. elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just <laughs> like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course! What are wow. friends for? Yeah, it's for the on again. The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. 
Yeah. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, okay. you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. It's a side quest for the game. This game. This is cycle for this game we'll probably do after we um done doing so. It's basically a side quest. We can do it anytime we wish. I'm gonna probably do it after this bit. It does seem a little story so far but it helps a little bit. No specific people because their um their weapons just went bye bye town. And when the we capture went this field. This big storm came and swept me out to a class four island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted oh, to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck. And before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, Basically, that we know. watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification uh, that I... uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, class four administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. Abby doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administer these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. We're basically boss battle with us, basically. The whole just here is the storm, basically for later on the game. Right now we can't do it. We have to wait a couple more levels, more story beats before we can do one. Then we can do a class four. Demons! There's more of them. A whole band of them rampaging through Ward Forest. <laughs> there was already one dangerous what? demon in those woods, and now we have more, and they're still on the loose. A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but what do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. 
How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, pretty much. We find you. Face this thing. Okay, yeah, take a move. I still so get the hell out of here. First mate, you're all right. You're all right. Sorry. Yay! Not even that happened. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. Of course. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! Aizen! You stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. <laughs> then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> the pirate's crate, huh? There's worse out there. There's worse out there. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Now we're gonna head to the island. It's my Abby Prince Jack out of here. Please for later on in the game. Well after we're doing this. This we have to not to. This is for now after. I think we can do a class 4. Class 4 is a basically mini boss arena. Very tough and very hard to do. Basically, not for low it's level colors. I also. But I'm glad no. everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds Ooh. like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all. I yeah. don't mean how she looked. I mean how she <laughs> actually feels. Oh! Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No. It's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loppy set confusing <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing I those see? feelings, I see. Yeah. Why is he here like that? <laughs> the plot thickens. The Abbey is supposed to exist yeah. to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does. Everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Uh... Whoa! Easy Whoa. there. Just asking. S sorry. I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more mm. like I despise them. despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. Whoa. They destroyed everything and everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. Oh. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. Nice. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. 
I will then. This is a beautiful place. Beautiful and happy place. What is that? This is a this is beautiful place. A oh, I'm in my future. A type of bird native to yeah. this area. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Pengyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, Let's what's it taste it. like? You'd eat that poor thing. You're one to talk, demon. Hmm. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit chat. Right, Magilu, yeah, what's this yeah. grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh. You know. Like that. Oh, great. Uh, well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless aristocratic air about her. A noble woman in her twilight, you could say. Wow. So you mean like a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor? Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong there. <laughs> I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, <laughs> since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? What's up, kiddo? Maggie Lou, you're a grown woman you're yourself. Grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bye-bye. Your feelings what? broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Yeah. This is a beautiful island. Not been like stupid plane for we were stuck in. This this is a you every I mean, every game I do have you find it. It's just habit, it's natural. I do like it. I get my islands. Why is it people get mass game? It's also getting kinda okay to me, don't think bad. Why people get mad with some people and blah blah. This, I love this music too. I have the music. This way you get these buttons. I guess I like glass. You can have three castles and you can do this. But something like this happened with me. That would be normal interest if we were going normally. Okay, there's one thing I've done. I had to do this guy's quest later on. Oh, so why not? Let's say that. There's somebody else here, but I think we're kind of very close to a church. And please, guy, we see him later on. He's basically about for I got to talk about our stuff. Basically, basically, we're going to talk to him about stuff. Basically, to make. A lot of time. A time waste, if you will. <laughs> you really think you want me to be about this talking? Oh, yeah, you probably. I don't know. Uh, whatever it comes out, it's gonna probably be okay. My back up this case, I'm probably broken. Yeah, it's like a beast. It's so beautiful, doesn't it? Better than that. <laughs> With that market. Beautiful and nice. Oh, yeah. Something 
I talk more. Why? Yeah. We have fire. Oh, here he is. It's Pocky. It's common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Wow, really? Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gan. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect That's very for nice. shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and Southgan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs. They floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, would turn with our ancestors here to Southgan. He had used the Natan logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and Southgan, and the age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but... Within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgand. Ironically enough, it was oh. ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, uh, but so. in the end, Midgan emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, Age of Exploration, more like Age of Exploitation. <laughs> When things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. Oh. It may not seem like it these days, but... South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigan. Shenanigan? <laughs> That's this funny. must have been a really fun place. I would call... I can probably do a bunch of memories. I upload a video called video based for Shenanigan Park. What is this actually a bit there? <laughs> this is one time only. I mean, it's so beautiful with like this damn dank jungle. You know what I'm saying? Namath. Boom, beauty. Yes. <sighs> really nice, honestly. A lot of nice stuff. <laughs> oh, I bet it's going to be a quest. We get a love looking at beast. I mean, we have to do too. In the winter, I am. I went to be heading with, and it comes out, so. You can also get me. Yeah, I probably see this one. Starting from my chest is gonna be a nightmare. So I will point a whole crack on the point if you're resolved, but I'll be staying my ass. They totally. No way I'm trying my points here, just. This is so beautiful. Oh. I do like the music, it's like beautiful and fun. Sounds like tropical. They can have fun tropical area like this. Oh, there's a small cussing right now. Still no, no here, leads here, 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 when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously, or I'll feed you to the sharks. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Keep this up, and I swear I'll. It's them. Crap! I did. I didn't come with this. Final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest. I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? Whoa. I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon in Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. No, they are. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister. Yeah. Sister. <laughs> I know, I know, 
I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. Yep, there you go. So there's a demon in Haria. It sounds like it's a pretty feisty yeah. one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Yeah, we're going to be here so bold. I kill like a lot of people. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? No, I don't. I, I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die. Correct. Yes, that I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, one less traitor for them to worry about. But well, well. we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire. It's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. Oh yeah, about that. Oh my god, thank This park is kind of pretty dark. Pretty, park is pretty dark. Now this park is just pretty dark near to that horrible, horrible place and game is super dark. My dark will want from 2 to like 20. So what's it really like? Okay. Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, <laughs> that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu, or myself. What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes, but it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she huh. always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that hmm. way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... Watch out for the older Watch girls. Huh? <laughs> like that, Teresa okay. and Oscar sure seem close. <laughs> I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, <laughs> and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. Found that adorable. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge. After a while, he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Roparo's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But nope. I seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? Well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's so naive. No Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. 
Well, then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme. But actually, okay, then. when I'm talking with Lavi said, sometimes I think this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any uh -huh. of this nonsense seriously, Lafi said. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never yeah. be a brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Any teeny candlestick, <laughs> which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? Yeah, basically, oh, well, yeah, that basically happens sometimes. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah it's, you know, Take a look at it's, this. Oh, the younger brother. Yay, we never up. Scout ship setting sail. Oh. 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 Yeah, we did find some very good new gear, new weapons, stuff like that. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it does happen. And it does topple. Yes, Mom? In a few minutes. I'll play it later on. The people of Southgate originally worshipped mm. Oh, crap, I... That's what time it is. Five the 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 minutes. Five minutes. it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection. I'm calling mommy. Offered their prayers to Aminoch. But the Abbey worships in Nominoch, don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in South is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Aminoj. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Yep. And again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? Not, I guess, anyway. Oops. Don't can't spoil anything, Sandy. Guys, tell my mom that I do something. Thank you, guys. She's very happy.